What we're learning now, according to a source uh, who's involved in this, is that um, the man appears to be in his late 20s. It the man appears being the, the, the man, the, the alleged gunman, appears to be in his late 20s. Uh, the person was online yesterday talking to others about uh, what he was going to do. There was an ongoing conversation. Investigators and detectives are now looking at all those posts, looking at the thread of the conversation to determine specifically um, who he was engaged with and whether this was sort of an idle conversation or what triggered him to actually carry out this act, whether he was prompted, compelled, egged on, had it in his mind, it was not going to be talked out of it. But based on the thread of the conversation, this was something he got in his mind to do. And he was having a conversation about it online with others. So, and right now it does not appear that there is any link to terrorism, international terrorism. Clearly, one can define this or describe it as a domestic terrorism, but this is not international terrorism, as we've seen recently. To Harry's point about the potential for a premeditation, uh, you know, when we're talking about this back and forth online, I'm wondering, and you may have not have the answer, how, how, how long had this male alleged shooter been talking about this? Do we know? We don't know how long. What we do know is that there's a thread, a conversation that began yesterday. Yesterday, it's sort of so someone yeah, else, late with someone else, with other people online talking about what he was going to do. And as Harry says, it really was well planned because it started in one building. He had familiarity. The gunman had familiarity with, with the, the campus, buildings, with the, with the campus. He knew how to get in. He knew how to move. And again, it, it doesn't appear to be a coincidence that the shooting began in one building and then it moved to another. Because once somebody hears shooting in one area, chances are they will either close the doors, they will go into lockdown. That gives a gunman, a shooter, access, right. complete unrestricted access to a second building where they don't know what's going on just yet. So there's an element of surprise, maybe not in the first building once the shooting starts, but in the second building, certainly there is that element of what's going on now. Um, that's all in play.